Hey guys, that's right here, and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today, we're going to be pushing on the ladder in this new season, of course, with the classic 2.9 motorcycle deck. This deck actually has the potential to do really well this season, because last season, one of its biggest weaknesses was Graveyard, and now that Graveyard's not as popular, this deck will obviously do a lot better. So, without further ado, guys, let's just go ahead and hop right into a match. Alrighty, so starting off this match, looks like we're going to be against Dorothy from No Clan. So good luck to this guy. And uh, starting off here, let's see here. We do have the Tornado as our next card. He's going to cycle Skeleton, so I guess I'll cycle Archers. Uh, see what this guy is. Oh, it might be 2.9. This is bad. This is bad. If I, I swear, if I face 2.9 Expo as my very... Okay, no, it's not 2.9. Thank God. Hopefully, it's something like Balloon Cycle. That's going to be a, a fun time. Uh, and looks like it actually might be Balloon Cycle. And uh, this guy probably thinks I'm using 2.9 Expo. So, that is really, really good. Um, unfortunately, he's got a bit of a push coming our way, though. So, that's not... Not as spectacular. Let's just go ahead and quickly log this. Uh, get an Ice Spirit in as well. That, okay. Mm, okay, we're going to activate King here. Hopefully Hog doesn't get any hits. Hog will not get any hits on the tower. And the Knight will finish off the Musketeer. So as you can see, you can actually activate King's Tower against a Hog Rider without getting any hits if you just kind of nudge the Hog Rider towards the center just a little bit. So yeah, pretty good start right there. And if he gives us any rocket value whatsoever, uh, then I'll, I'll definitely take it now that I have an activated King's Tower. So yeah, Hog, not the worst ma I mean, it's a pretty good matchup because, yeah, like I said, we can just rocket cycle this guy out and there's really not much this guy can do. Uh, so here I'm just going to go ahead and go with an Ice Spirit right there. That'll stall the Musketeer as well so that my rocket will be able to hit it. And uh, yeah, that hog is just going to be very easily natoed to the center. And uh, yeah, the tower should DPS it down so it doesn't get any hits on the tower. So as you can see here against the hog rider, you know, once you get that king tower activation, you're pretty much set. I mean, right now we have about a 600 damage lead, so definitely pretty solid here. And uh, let's see, double elixir time should be pretty plain sailing uh so yeah he's gonna go in with another musketeer i'm just gonna go ahead and rock it again because that's that's just value for us that's actually oh okay buddy oh dear oh no 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 okay um oh Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, that actually did, like, no damage. Uh, I'll take it. So, uh, looks like things got a little bit spicy there. Uh, he He's running he's running hog, uh, whatchamacallit, earthquake, so that makes things uh, a little bit annoying, but I should still be fine. That hog won't get any hits, so that's good. Let's try and rock it here. Maybe we can predict something. No, unfortunately not, uh, but that's, that's perfectly fine. Um, I, I, I've accounted for the rocket to not hit anything there, so... It's your log right there, so the bats will 100% go in front. Let's go ahead and go in with a mortar up high. Uh, let's go archers here, uh, do this, and then we're going to log onto all of this good stuff right there. Take out the musketeer, and then skeletons down just to finish off the hog rider. As you can see, we're pretty much controlling the match. There's The only damage he's getting on my tower is earthquake damage. So here, unfortunately, I think I'm just going to have to chill out a little bit here. I'm going to have to defend his hog push first. And uh, let's see here, we're just going to go ahead and knight right there, and he's not going to hog, so we're just going to send in a rocket. The archers will survive, so that's just going to be even more value for us. And uh, yeah, we're just going to NATO here, uh, skeletons, ice spear right here, log as well. And uh, well, let's go in with a knight just in case that mini P.E.K.K.A. does tries to do anything sneaky. And uh, yeah, his tower is down to rocket range. You know, pretty scummy way to win. But I mean, he he's running Hog Earthquake, so he's probably even more triggered because he because uh, he he probably put the earthquake into counter siege. But um, well, I guess this deck counters Hog Earthquake pretty well. Alrighty, next up we're gonna be against Puma three 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 from the Clan Weiss crew. Good luck to this guy. And uh, yeah, starting off this match here, we're just going to go ahead, cycle to our tornado right here. Hopefully we can get an activated King's Tower. There we go. So it took a little bit of damage here, but uh, looks like we should be all right. Let's go in with an offensive mortar here. And mm, not a good start. We're down a lot of damage. A good matchup. And ooh, the mortar, the knight's actually going to be like stuck in a position where the... Uh, 
the more is going to get hits on the tower. So that's really good for us. Uh, let's go ahead and go with skeletons here as well, just to, you know, distract that inferno tower a little bit. Hopefully we can get that mortar to get like one hit on the tower. Come on, just one hit on the tower, one hit on the tower, one. There we go. One hit on the tower and uh, taking down to 2705. So it looks like we've managed to get back that damage deficit there and uh so yeah let's go into the knight in the center just in case oh i'm lagging a little bit here um not sure what is going on let's go into an ice beer okay i'm actually lagging pretty bad this is gonna be this might turn an easy matchup into a really bad one uh let's hope that's not the case but so it looks like that knight will connect onto the tower right there and then we're just gonna go ahead and go in with skeletons and then archers and, uh, yeah, 300 damage lead, I'm fine with that. And, uh, let's see here, princess, so let's see, you went princess, uh, shoot, I lost count of the cards, I should have been counting cards, because against bait, you really need to keep track of that princess, or else, if you're both, like, rocket cycling, you can really, he, uh, your opponent can really easy, easily, like, get ahead of you. So let's see here. Uh, okay, we're gonna rocket that out. Mortar should splash onto the Inferno Tower. Rocket finishes that off. And uh, yeah, that's a tower lock right there. Pretty solid. And uh, he's gonna go in with the Princess in the back. I'll just kind of cycle. Um, let's go in with a Knight up high. He might try and protect it. Nope, looks like he's just gonna let the Princess go. We're gonna do this. That's probably a deep barrel once again. Uh, okay, that's fine. I missed one of the... Uh, the uh, thingamabobbers, but I am perfectly fine with that. So let's see here. Uh, Ice Spirit down right there. Mm, okay, well, the mortar's kind of dead. Oh, it doesn't even take out the princess. Are you kidding me? Okay, so we're going to let that princess lock on and then go with skeletons. Uh, do this again. That looks like another deep barrel. Yep, looks like it is. We'll go in with this once again. And, uh, okay, he's going to rock it on the mortar. We're going to rock it on the tower. There we go. That's kind of how it goes. You know, you kind of just want to make sure that they can't rocket cycle you as you rocket cycle them. Uh, so, yeah, and then here, note that archer placement on, uh, in front of the tower. Uh, that's how you essentially shut down a goblin barrel when you don't have the log or if you want to save it for an offense. So, yeah, pretty solid right here. He's trying to outcycle my log, which he is. But let's see here. Let's go with this NATO placement. And, uh, yeah, that pretty effectively... Oh, I spoke way too soon. I think I just lost. Oh, I just lost this game. I am so bad. I am actually so bad. Oh, my God. Uh, let's see if I can sneak that in. Oh, my God. Did I just steal the game? Did I just steal the game? I think I just stole... <laughs> <laughs> I spoke way too soon. I would have totally lost that matchup if I hadn't nated the knight in. This guy got too cocky as well. I mean, I got way too cocky first, so I almost threw the game. But, uh, I mean, you, you can see if I if I had actually uh, tried focused on defending that push, uh, that, that wouldn't have been too big of an issue. So, um... Yeah, uh, we kind of we kind of got away with one there, and uh, yeah, we're just one win away from 6k, so let's get right into it. Alrighty, so this match is going to be against Beskit Bay, and uh, let's see here, starting off, let's cycle an Ice Spirit here, looks like he's got an Ice Spirit as well, let's go in with Skeletons in the back, and uh, Princess in the back, okay, we're just gonna rock it, if it's a bait matchup, um, I might play another one after this, or I might cut this one out, looks like it is another bait matchup, which, hmm, Okay, well, we're just gonna activate King, you know, pretty standard stuff here. And uh, yeah, now, Mortar on offense, uh, it's just kind of a rinse and repeat against Bait. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, it looks like he's just gonna probably Inferno Tower my Mortar or something. And uh, that sucks. Uh, let's just go ahead and actually do this. Ooh, well played right there. We're just gonna do this and then archers up top here. Ooh, well played. Well played with the uh, the uh, lower goblin barrel. He's gonna catch up on damage right there because I wasn't wasn't paying too much attention. But uh, let's see here. <sighs> I have to get I have to get my act together or else I'm gonna lose another bait matchup, <laughs> which I definitely do not want because you know when you're pushing high ladder you obviously don't want to be losing those easy ones. Like if you lose the hard ones then yeah fine, but like I mean the easy ones are like ugh. oh well played. See this guy this guy knows what he's doing. Okay, um so yeah we're gonna have to be a lot more careful here. 
Uh, let's see, I might go in with skeletons here in case he tries a sneaky princess. Looks like that's not what's going to happen. But uh, yeah, it's good to be safe and sorry. Again, you really want to make sure that they don't get princess chip damage on your tower. Here, uh, I'm just going to log that. Um, and... Uh, then I'll just go ahead and knight right there. Ooh, well played, well played, well played. This guy, this guy is actually a really good bait player. So let's see here, Ice Spirit down. Let's go Skeletons and then Archers up high. Uh, hopefully, okay, so he'll let the Princess die. Well, I mean, I mean, he tried to react fast enough, but he couldn't, so uh, let's see here. Um, okay, he's gonna rock it on the mortar. Uh, again, I'll just rock it onto the tower. That's kind of the deal here. Um, and then we're just gonna kind of... Oh, that was supposed to be a NATO, but it uh, looks like that'll work out anyways. Kind of a misplay there, but... Okay, let's see here. Let's just go in with another one of these. And, uh, okay, he'll go with a knight. I'll just go in with archers right here, predicting an inferno tower. Looks like that's not the case. Ooh, wow, valuable log right there. It's gonna hit all of that stuff. Oh my god, that is a mortar lock and a half right there. And he's gonna play the Inferno Tower so I can rocket it on the tower. So yeah, again, Ice Spirit to try and catch a princess and boom, look at that. Everything is going is going correctly. And let's go in with another mortar right here. Try and do another predictive NATO. There we go. Now it's gonna work. That's GG's. What an end to the game. We literally made all like the perfect plays and like yeah there we go i'll definitely take this one uh over the last one where i legit almost just threw the entire game okay so next up we're against uh this guy well i won't pronounce because that is a curse word and no cursing on my youtube channel and uh from the clan cr ohio so good luck to this guy and uh, starting off here, you know the deal, you know the deal. Oh, hmm, that's bad. That's bad, that's really bad, that's really, really bad. Um, okay, well, we're gonna mute him, because, I mean, he's probably gonna win, and uh, we're just gonna, he's just gonna BM the whole match, so, uh, uh, I see how it is. But, um, hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, and he... Okay. Well, we outcycled his, his uh, arrows, so at least we have that going for us, but... Uh, oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, so we're gonna... Ooh, actually, let's go ahead and NATO here. Ice Spirit should take out all of that. And, uh, okay, that actually... That's gonna turn out decently. Oh, my God, that turned out way better than... Oh... Okay. Um... <laughs> Well, we are kind of screwed. Let's go in with archers here. Try and maybe predictive log something. Try and get some more damage here. But, uh, I mean... We're going opposite lane, which is really bad. Uh, but, I mean, going same lane against Lava Hound is pretty bad as well. Lava Hound's just kind of a bad matchup in general. But, uh, Lava Hound double minions balloon. This is... Hmm... I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay. I think I might have just lost here because um, hmm, my mortar is out of cycle, so I don't have a way to distract anything. Let's try and just go with a knight here. And mm, see this guy. Mm. Okay. Let's go with an ice spirit here, and then we're gonna NATO to king, and then go in with a knight here to tank. And then let's go in with a mortar up high to distract. And I think we're doing okay. We're doing fine. The mortar's gonna get a hit on the tower, which is really, really good. And then we can go ahead and do this. Go in with a knight at the bridge because he doesn't have that much ground. And okay, well, <laughs> well, uh, let's see here. We're gonna go ahead and nato that. Let's go in with archers. Let's go in with a high mortar. Unfortunately, I can't pull it opposite lane, but I can only try and get as much chip damage as possible. Now, uh, let's see. Let's go in with a log here. This is... Well, I'm going to have to try and double rocket here, uh, but he might have lightning, so that's not good. So hopefully, I predict the miner. Okay, I do predict the miner. Let's go ahead and go in with skeletons up high, and then go in with this. Ooh, no, I think he has lightning. Uh, well, let me see if I can do a little something here. Um, oh, I might have just thrown the game. He doesn't have... Does he have lightning? 
Oh, he doesn't. I don't think he has lightning. Okay, well, we're going to send in the rocket, and hopefully we can win this thing. But uh, come on, come on. Please, please, let's go. Oh, my God. Lava Hound is literally one of the hardest matchups. It's like, actually, I, I'd rank it uh, higher than Graveyard when it comes to difficult matchups. I can't think of many matchups that are harder than Lava Hound, if I'm going to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah, 6,045, top 1250 as well. So, yeah, pretty solid pushing session right now. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately guys, that's all I've got time for in today's episode. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below as well as a subscription to my channel. And as always, this is Legend of Ray, and I'm signing off. See you guys next time.